Hello guys, this is Rupesh and I'm watching C Webinar's video series and this question is about function hiding in C++. And this is pretty uncommon question and if it is uncommon, you should be knowing that, right? So, let's try to understand what is function hiding. So, this is your base class. You have this function in base class and this is derived class, deriving base class and the same function name but the parameter is different, okay? Don't Think about this integer return type. I could have written void, doesn't matter. And here you are having derived object t and calling function with one which is integer. So it is this function and function with character which is this function. So what you expect? First it should print base and then it should print derived, right? Because this function has come here because we have derived it. Correct? So let's run this and check it. Okay, we have derived and derived two time. It means both the time it is calling this function only. So this is called function hiding. I'm telling you, when you have the same function name inside your derived class, then all the similar name from base class will be hidden inside your derived class. Okay? So it doesn't matter your Parameter is different. You have two, three parameters. Doesn't matter. You cannot use that function inside derived. I mean using this derived object. You can do one thing. You can just simply call like this. Base function. I mean by using this scope resolution operator. So if you will do this, see the answer is base and derived. So there is another way of doing that actually. You can use something called using which will be used like this that's it so now what you're doing you're telling that I want base class function scope should come here okay so what are you saying all the functions which have this f u n name inside this should share the similar scope what derived is sharing okay so ultimately this function scope will become local here okay so now you can use this just run this see it is base and derived and you are not using that scope resolution operator here okay but still it is working why it is working i told you using this you are telling that from base whatever is there with this function there could be so many functions from base here let's call some another function here and this is let's call this a void function void okay and if you are calling this here without any parameter let's run this you will see that this void is coming okay so what you are saying is, I want all the functions with f u n name inside here or you can say you are making those functions scope local to this derived class. Okay. And as I told you, if you are not using this one, then you need to use scope resolution operator, then it will work. Okay. So let's run this. See derived and derived so for these two it is calling this only but as you are using the scope resolution operator here it is calling the void one here correct so to bring these functions scope local to this derived we use that syntax and another thing is if you are creating some function let's suppose you are having this one okay so you might think Okay, because of this one parameter only, it was getting confused. So let's pass two parameter. It will call that function. Okay, but no, it won't call that function. And this is a compile time error. Okay, why? Because this function is not here. If you are not using this one. Okay, so let me clear that. And if you are calling this function one and one, it means it should call this function but it won't call that okay so let's check that see 
you got the error here so what we learned from this video that if you are using any function name in derived class it will hide all the functions coming from the base class with the similar name so this is called function hiding and to overcome this we use this one using base and that function name okay so you learn a new thing right function hiding i think we are done here thanks for watching and yeah don't forget to subscribe for videos like this bye bye